Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. I want to give you the truth about SHOT Show 22. I'm in my hotel room now. I left the show early, quite frankly, because there wasn't much to see. I've never spent so much time in my life for three days straight walking around aimlessly. Now, many of the manufacturers said that they weren't going to come. They made statements saying, look, we're not going to be there. And it was expected that certain manufacturers would not be there. I don't blame them for not coming. They have business reasons for their decisions, and I respect that. But I was not aware of how many actually would not come. Many, I'm not, not just a couple, many of the major manufacturers skip SHOT Show. Am I upset with them? Not so much. I wish they would have made an announcement like SIG did from the onset. Who I'm upset with most are the handlers of SHOT Show who kept everything under wraps. They made it seem as if SHOT Show would be this incredible event. This is my eighth SHOT Show. I know what to expect. I used to be excited to go there and, and, and meet all these new and innovative uh, companies that came out with these crazy ideas and all this stuff. Even if it never made it to the market, it was fun to be a part of that environment. This was a doll pencil. It was a joke. Low energy, no excitement, and very few guns. Now, I walked around aimlessly. The reason I walked around aimlessly was because there, there wasn't any, anything to draw my attention. Uh, the, the upper level was spread out. It, was, it had many empty spaces where big showrooms used to be. You know, I spent a half hour looking for CZ, come to find out they didn't show up. I, I had no idea. I think it would have been a good idea to take them off of the app that everybody was encouraged to follow. You kind of need the app, it's such a, a big place. But no, they didn't take it off the app. Actually, everything was on there as if all these manufacturers were there. And so what did I do? tried to find something that would excite me, something that would be a little entertaining, something that I could record and show the viewers of this channel, and it was boring. Now, that's not to say I, it was com a complete waste. I, I was able to see some friends. I was able to meet up with some people. I'm thankful to Smith & Wesson, who was there, Taurus, Car Arms, uh, Rock Island, Bursa, Sky was there, uh, there were some others there, Staccato, there were some other manufacturers that showed up and they had set up for a standard SHOT Show. But the rest was just not, not exciting at all. And it, I, I have to say, it was, you know, usually with SHOT Show there's a you know, a, a buzz about it. There, there's something new. There's, there's something that you got to go see because it's so exciting. There was none of that. The excitement level on a scale of 1 to 10 was a 1.5. And honestly, after the first day, I said, what am I doing here? Now, a lot of people pulled out because they, they knew. They said, that, you know, and I, I kind of knew too, but I said, you know what? I still want to go. It's SHOT Show, it's gonna be exciting. Man, was I wrong. I was really wrong. Now, a lot of people did not attend, the, the attenders, they, they did not attend because they said, well, they're having a mask mandate. I'm not wearing a mask. And so they said, I'm not going because I won't wear a mask. Well, I'll tell you, I didn't wear my mask once. Not once. And yeah, they had people say, hey, sir, you have to put your mask on. Hey, sir, don't forget to put your mask on. And I'd say, yep, yep, okay, thank you. I would say about 30% of the people had masks on. It was rumored that some big shot from the city was going to come in and shut down the show because of the non-compliance with the attendees. And supposedly that didn't, I can't verify that. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but that's what somebody told me. And it kind of sounded legit, like this is a, liberal area and you know in liberal areas you have to do what they tell you what to do because they are in charge of your life so they think but the show itself
just lacked so much. Now, if you were a new manufacturer or you had uh, products, they seem to do very well and I'm happy for them. I always like it when the little guy gets a boost up, you know, the, the, the ones who are up and coming. But there are even few of those. You know, there were a whole bunch of little products here and, and, and something new to put on your AR there. There were a lot of rifles. If you're, if you're really into ARs, there were a lot of ARs to see. But, and I like ARs, but it's sort of a one size fits all in, in the AR category. You know, some are Cerakoted, some are, you know, bigger, some are smaller, whatever. That's great. I'm an AR guy. I have my ARs, I like my ARs. But as far as handguns go, there was very little to see. And, and that's what's, what I enjoy most about SHOT Show are, is a variety of things, and there just wasn't a variety. They opened up Caesars Forum, and so I went over to Caesars Forum, and half the people at Caesars Forum weren't even there to set up booths. So it, it turned out to be very dull, very uneventful. You know, they would have shows going on. I used to watch the, the military dog shows and all that. All that was gone. There was, there was nothing to see. Even the people there that were working said, yeah, you know, I said, this shot show is a joke. And they said, yeah, yeah, it really is a joke. So uh, the people who ran the SHOT Show, you did a wonderful job misleading everybody. You did a wonderful job being deceptive, acting as if everything is going to be amazing. It was not amazing. Actually, it was anything but amazing. It was, as I described earlier, a doll pencil. And actually, a doll pencil you can at least write with. This you couldn't do much with. I typically like to walk out with eight to 10 videos. I think I ended up with six. And, and the six videos that I made were, I think, of decent enough quality that the people on this channel would enjoy. And, and the videos that I make, I typically review the gun. I don't go up to one of the uh, booth people and ask them to talk about it and so they can tell you everything that's so great about it. Nonetheless, it, it was a struggle even to get six. So that's what the truth is about SHOT Show 2022. It was a joke. It was not so much fun. And I spent a lot of time, I spent more time talking with friends than I did actually looking at guns because honestly, there were a few guns to look at. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.